Nigel Farage is in Millbank for us this afternoon. Um, hello to you, Mr Farage. Your reaction to what's been happening over the last three nights? Well, absolutely horrifying. Uh, but I'm afraid I feel the response that we've had today from the Prime Minister is simply inadequate. Uh, Parliament is to be recalled in two days' time, which seems to be throwing down the gauntlet and saying you've got 48 hours to do your worst before we really discuss this and make any decisions. And it's all well and good saying that the number of police officers on the streets of London tonight will increase to 16,000. But the point is, many of those officers are being drawn in from around the rest of the country. As we saw last night, this problem is not just a London problem. So it seems to me uh, that there are people out there thinking they can go out and rob and loot with impunity. Uh, and I'm very worried uh, that this problem is going to spread hugely, uh, worse than it is right now. And I cannot for the life of me see why. We're not saying let's use the army under the direction of the police and let's get men on the streets of as many cities in this country as we possibly can. I can't remember. Is there a precedent for that? Well, we've used the army before. I mean, don't forget that in 1969, uh, when things in Belfast were very unpleasant, the army were called in to try and bring uh, peace and stability. Uh, we used the army in the 1970s when there was a fire strike and we had green goddesses going around putting out fires. So, yes, there are precedents for it. But, as I say, it would be using soldiers under the command of the police. The police themselves have said they're stretched to breaking point. They simply haven't got enough people. If we were dealing with one or two isolated outbreaks, the police could manage. What we've actually got here um, is mob rule happening in hundreds of places across London and with the threat that it could spread much further across the UK tonight. I wonder if those two instances that you quote there are actually um, reasonable uh, precedences for using the army. Of course, um, in Northern Ireland we saw what happened uh, there in the Troubles in the uh, 1970s specifically. As far as the fire strike was concerned, that wasn't really used for law and order or maintaining law and order. Initially it was. Uh, surely, if we do bring, surely if we do bring the uh, army onto the streets, that, uh, uh, I suppose, increases this to a whole new level. Well. If we don't do something, then we face the risk of this escalating into the worst civil disorder we have ever seen in this country. And, and from what I can see today, uh, there is still an absolute vacuum of leadership. Nobody is saying we are going to put a stop to this. We have the police completely overstretched in London, borrowing officers from around the rest of the country. Uh, and I, I am fearful that this is going to get very much worse. I think to use the army is the obvious, sensible thing to do. Let's get men on the streets and let's send out a message. This is wrong. This must stop and it must stop now. What if somebody gets shot? Well, I'm not advocating. Uh, I'm not advocating the use of rubber bullets or live rounds or anything of the kind. I'm arguing that a physical presence of people in green uniforms will act as a big deterrent to people from smashing windows and stealing televisions and all the rest of it. I'm not saying it'll solve the problem, because the problem we've got clearly is very, very big. But the police need help. And at the moment, frankly, I don't feel they're getting it. Interestingly, because the police are actually looking at whether or not uh, plastic bullets should be issued. Do you think not? I would be concerned uh, that if we got to the stage of using uh, plastic bullets, that the whole thing could escalate um, and become even worse than it is now. So I would rather uh, that things did not get to that level. The argument is the police have not got the sufficient resources in manpower to deal with this problem, and the army seems to me as the obvious answer to increase manpower on the streets. And, I, and I'm sure, I mean, I'm sure that when Parliament meets on Thursday, this is something that many MPs will raise, and we'll see what the Prime Minister's reaction is. My worry is that as each night goes by, this problem seems to get worse. There don't seem to be any real sanctions upon those who go out and rob and loot, um, and, and the message isn't being sent out that this needs to stop. Okay, Mr. Farage, thank you very much indeed for joining us.